Hi, good evening. Can you hear me? Okay. Um, you didn't want to open your camera. It's okay with me if you don't want to open your camera, but uh, I want you to unmute so that we can speak for a while. All right, so I'm teacher Shen from Pantado and I'm 29 years old from the Philippines. May I know your name? Yeah, okay. Um, my name is Long. Hmm. I'm 14. I'm currently studying at um funding dot uh secondary school. Hmm, I think that's it. Okay. So is all right, Long, nice, nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, even though I can't see you. But today okay. uh, I am tasked to be uh, to give you your trial class here in Pantado. But before I am going to do that, I would like to know you better. So you are in secondary high school now, and what grade are you in? Um, in grade Oh, uh, what do you say again? What grade are you now? Can you say again? I'm asking what grade are you now? Oh, I'm um I'm at a grade eight. I'm uh I'm about to uh study grade nine, but um because of the COVID, uh the the school uh is uh currently having um have a Final test, yes. Yeah, so uh, I'm uh, still currently uh, grade eight. All right then. Okay. So can I ask how many people are there in your family? There's um two, three, four. I think five. I'm not sure you think five. Okay. Can you tell me who are the people in your family? I have a father, a mother, a s two sisters, and me. Two sisters. Are they younger sister or one older sister? Uh, they're both uh, younger and older than me. Okay, so are you the oldest son? Yes. That's good. So, by the way, what's what does your mom and your dad do? Um. Uh, I don't know. I seriously don't know. I, I, I never asked them about that. <laughs> okay, so, but what about you? What would you like to be when you grow up? Hmm. I think I would like to be an artist. An artist? What kind of artist? Uh, an artist who can sing? Or an um, artist who paints? Or Yeah, I like painting. Okay. So that's what you like doing. Painting. Yeah. All right. So that's nice. I don't have that kind of talent. I don't know how to paint even a single flower. <laughs> okay, so today we will start the class now. But here's my last question. Um, can you tell me why do you want to learn English? Mm -hmm. Hmm. I think the first reason is um because of um I watch a lot of uh, like overseas uh youtuber yeah they uh paint and they do stuff now i really like to watch them and um would like to um like at least uh, 
living somewhere. <laughs> living somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> okay, do you want to live um, alone? Uh, do you want to have your own life or something? <laughs> yeah, of course I want to live alone. Live alone is fun. Okay, maybe you, you, you can do that in the future. But for now, I think you need to finish your degree first. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think... um. Yeah. So the reason why we need to study English is like for you, you maybe you want to try, do you want to travel to another country? Yeah, of course. So do you think English will be useful for you in the future? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. All right then. So today we will start the demo class and I use um, the pet material. This is equivalent to B level one in English in Cambridge. I was just going to, to test your listening, your reading and writing and your speaking skills. But the reason why I ask you before we started the class is that is my way of testing your speaking skills and you're good. You're very good at speaking English. Uh huh. <laughs> so this time let's start with the listening test. Are you ready? Uh, yes, already. So normally um, there are seven questions and you'll hear the recording twice. So if you can put a tick on the screen, just like this, much better. But if you can't, you can type your answers in the chat box, okay? Okay. All right, I will be playing the audio now. And here there are seven questions and let's start. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear each recording twice. One. What was in the woman's bag? Was there anything valuable in the bag that was stolen, madam? Yes. It had my purse in it and my keys. Anything else? Well, luckily I was wearing my glasses, so no, nothing else. Now listen again. Was there anything valuable in the bag that was stolen, madam? Yes. It had my purse in it and my keys. Anything else? Well, luckily I was wearing my glasses, so no, nothing else. Two. Which film is the man talking about? I'm sure I've seen this film before. That bit where she's standing on the bridge watching the sunset reminded me. Now listen again. I'm sure I've seen this film before. That bit where she's standing on the bridge watching the sunset reminded me. Three. What should the woman do first? Well, you put the washing powder in the machine. Is that before or after you put the clothes in? Oh, it's after you put them in. And then remember to switch it on at the wall when you're ready. Now listen again. Well, you put the washing powder in the machine. Is that before or after you put the clothes in? Oh, it's after you put them in. And then remember to switch it on at the wall when you're ready. Four. What is David going to do this weekend? Could you help me paint my flat this weekend, David? Oh, sorry. I'm going sailing. I decided to enjoy myself for a change. I spent last weekend helping my mum do her garden, and I need to repair the car next weekend. Now listen again. Could you help me paint my flat this weekend, David? Oh, sorry. I'm going sailing. 
I decided to enjoy myself for a change. I spent last weekend helping my mum do her garden, and I need to repair the car next weekend. Five. How did the man get to work today? Sorry I'm late. I never know whether to take the underground or drive. I was held up in a traffic jam for half an hour, and then, when I got to work, the car park was full. I think I'll have to move nearer so I can walk or use my bike. Now Sorry I'm late. I never know whether to take the underground or drive. I was held up in a traffic jam for half an hour, and then, when I got to work, the car park was full. I think I'll have to move nearer so I can walk or use my bike. Six. Which tie does the man choose? Which tie shall I wear for the interview? Do you think my blue silk one would look all right? A bit boring. I'd wear something with a small pattern. Squares or spots. Something like that. Oh, I don't know. I think I'll wear the plain one. Now listen again. Which tie shall I wear for the interview? Do you think my blue silk one would look all right? A bit boring. I'd wear something with a small pattern. Squares or spots. Something like that. Oh, I don't know. I think I'll wear the plain one. Seven. What time is the appointment? Dr. Brown's clinic. Can I help you? Yes. Can I have an appointment to see the doctor, please? Well, he's free at quarter past eleven today, or tomorrow at quarter past ten, or five to two. I'll come tomorrow afternoon. Thank you. Now listen again. Dr. Brown's clinic, can I help you? Yes. Can I have an appointment to see the doctor, please? Well, he's free at quarter past eleven today, or tomorrow at quarter past ten, or five to two. I'll come tomorrow afternoon. Thank you. Let's check the that answers. That is the end of part one. Wait, hold on. Let me mute the audio first. So, for number one, what was in the woman's bag? You said it's letter... B. That's right. And which film is the man talking about? Yes, it's letter B. And what should the woman do first? <laughs> letter C is correct. And for number four, what is David going to do this weekend? It's letter B. And how did the man get to work today? It's by car, letter C. And which tie does the man chose? Yes, it's C, the plain one. And what time is the appointment? It's letter C too, because that is the only time that has um, an afternoon schedule. Great job, Lou. You got all the answers correctly. Your listening skills are very good. <laughs> this time, let's go to the next part. This is still under listening test. Just chose whether it's A or B. If the sentence is correct, it's a yes and it's A. But if it is not correct, it's letter B. I'll play the audio now. Now turn to part four. Questions 20 to 25. Look at the six sentences for this part. You will hear a conversation between a girl, Jane, and her brother, Michael, about a Spanish family who are coming to visit them in England. Decide if each sentence is correct or incorrect. If it is correct, put a tick in the box under A for yes. If it is not correct, 
put a tick in the box under B for no. You now have 20 seconds to look at the questions for part 4. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. Michael, you know that Spanish family Mum and Dad met in Spain last year? Yeah, the Sanchez family. That's right. Anyway, they're coming to stay next month. They haven't been to England before, so Mum wants us to help plan a really good week for them. Can we give her some suggestions? Well... They must spend a day in London seeing the famous places like um, Buckingham Palace and the Tower of London. Perhaps they could go on one of those open-top buses and see everything from there. Oh, that's a great idea. Do you think the children will like that? How old are they? One's twelve and the other's nine. Oh, that should be okay then. What about a trip to the car museum at Bewley on another day? Oh, no. I found that car museum so boring. I don't think any of them would like that. Well, I think most people find museums boring, but it's what people do when they visit another country, isn't it? Not necessarily. They might want to do more outdoor activities or, or perhaps go to some shows or plays or something. I know. There's a big open-air pop and jazz festival in Southampton. Do you think they'd like that? That sounds better. What about taking the kids windsurfing as well? I think they might enjoy that, don't you? Fine. And what about tennis? Do you think we could still get tickets for the open tennis competition in Bournemouth? There are some famous players there this year. I'm sure we could, but I wonder if the family like tennis. I don't know. So let's just write a list of all the things they could do, then get Mum to phone Mrs Sanchez tonight. The family can talk it over and then phone back if we need to book anything. Brilliant! Let's start the list. Now listen again. Yeah. Michael, you know that Spanish family Mum and Dad met in Spain last year? Yeah, the Sanchez family. That's right. Anyway, they're coming to stay next month. They haven't been to England before, so Mum wants us to help plan a really good week for them. Can we give her some suggestions? Well, they must spend a day in London seeing the famous places like um, Buckingham Palace and the Tower of London. Perhaps they could go on one of those open-top buses and see everything from there. Oh, that's a great idea. Do you think the children will like that? How old are they? One's twelve and the other's nine. Oh, that should be okay then. What about a trip to the car museum at Bewley on another day? Oh, no. I found that car museum so boring. I don't think any of them would like that. Well, I think most people find museums boring. But it's what people do when they visit another country, isn't it? Not necessarily. They might want to do more outdoor activities or, or perhaps go to some shows or plays or something. I know. There's a big open-air pop and jazz festival in Southampton. Do you think they'd like that? That sounds better. What about taking the kids windsurfing as well? I think they might enjoy that, don't you? Fine. And what about tennis? Do you think we could still get tickets for the open tennis competition in Bournemouth? There are some famous players there this year. I'm sure we could, but I wonder if the family like tennis. I don't know. So let's just write a list of all the things they could do, then get Mum to phone Mrs Sanchez tonight. The family can talk it over and then phone back if we need to book anything. Brilliant. Let's start the list. All right. That is the end of listening task two. Hold on, let me put a tick to your answers on the screen. For 20, you said it's A. 21 is B. 22 A. Um, 25 is B. 23 A and 24 A. Okay, let's see. Let's check all your answers long if they are all correct. So this will be the Sanchez family's first trip to England. Yes, it's letter A. And Michael suggests 
sightseeing in London? Is that, um, I think it's not Michael who suggested the sightseeing. The Sanchez children are teenagers. Not all. So they are not teenagers. One is nine and the other is 12. Jane has been to the car museum. Yes. And Michael thinks everyone enjoys visiting museums. Uh, no. And Jane and Michael have bought tickets for the tennis competition. That's B. Mm -hmm. So these are the correct answers for the listening test task two. Okay, now let's go to task two, L reading and writing test. This is very easy. Look at the notice. It says no bicycles against the glass, please. And what does it say? It means do not leave your bicycle touching the window. So now there are five questions for this. I want you to answer first the question one and two. All right, for number one, you said only the doctor working today can park here. And yes, it's correct. For number two, there's a letter from Ruth to Heidi saying, congratulations on the new job. You think they'd take me as well? Like you, I'm available until September. Could you tell them about me? And it means Ruth wants Heidi to help her find employment. Now, what about number three? It says, warning, security cameras is in use around this building. Okay, what does it mean? It means this building is guarded by cameras. Is correct. And for number four, there's a message. It says, Helena, Ronan called from the theater. The cafe opposite is closing. So everyone's going down to the club early. <laughs> and join them there when you can. So here, I will not ask you the question because you saw it. Where should Helena meet the others? It's letter C at the club. What about number five? We have many flats available to rent in this area. What does it mean? means we offer a choice of flats to rent in this area okay the best answer here is letter a and you got it right great job now let's go to the next task here 
Um, this is a multiple choice. So to do this, you need to read the article first. And there are five questions about it. Here, let's read the article together. I'll read the first paragraph and the third one. And I want you to read the second paragraph. Okay, I'll go first. Some people have complained about this year's collection, New Writing 3, although I can't understand why. Surely, 500 pages of original writing of this quality for £6.99 is pretty amazing. Mm. Fiction. Both, for, both parts of novels and complete short stories makes up most of the book. There are some enjoyable pieces by famous writers such as Candia, McWilliam, and Rose Truman. It's strange fact that the less well-known people seem to have written mainly about food. Take my advice about Jane Harris, those nails. This piece was that this piece should definitely not be read just after meals. It contains some very unpleasant scenes, which could turn you, which could turn your stomachs. Very good. There is fine work from 19 poets, including R.S. Thomas and John Burnside. There are pieces from novels in progress by Jim Craze and Jane Rogers. Finally, there is a little nonfiction which includes a very funny article by Alan, who is preacher on certain newspapers, and an extraordinary piece about herself from Ursula Owen. This is an exceptional collection, and I, for one, can't wait to see what next year's choice will include. So, I give you another one minute to take a look at the article uh -huh. before we will proceed to the questions. So your one minute will start now. All right, now let's go to the questions. Here it is. What is the writer trying to do in the text? Give some information about the new writers. Oh no, it's A. She gave her opinions about a new book. And why would somebody read the text? The text that we have read, why would somebody would read it? Letter C, letter A is to find out more details about something, especially the writers, because the book, there's only one book, but there are, it's not only written by one person, it's written by a lot of writers. 
So what does the writer, the writer think of new writing three? Yeah, it's very good. And how might you feel after reading Jane Harris' piece? Remember nothing. Okay, just make a guess. How might you feel after reading Jane Harris' piece? Um, because it says it could turn on your stomach. It will make you hungry, excited, and happy or sick. <laughs> make you sick. It could turn on your stomach after reading the, the story of Jane Harris. And which of the following describes the new writing three? What do you think? You feel fine. Okay. <laughs> okay, number 25. What's the answer? Great value, the pass of new writing for 6.99 pounds. And you got it right. Very good. Now let's go to the, the next activity for today. Here you are going to rewrite or to write the second sentence. This is about um, Dave and Jane. Okay, this is how you're going to do. Just complete the second sentence so that it means the same as the first. And take note, use no more than three words. Here, Dave and Jane have been to the cinema together. So you can make it like this. Dave has been to the cinema with Jane. So it means the same, right? Now let's go to the questions. One, two, three, four, and five. <laughs> this is a writing test at the same time. Grammar test. There weren't any seats in the cinema. There weren't any seats left in the cinema. Okay, many seats. All right. Mm -hmm. Jane had a worse seat than Dave. Um, Dave had a better seat than Jane. A better seat than Jane, that's right. And Jane couldn't see the screen very well. Hmm. Um, Jane found it hard to see the screen. Yes, that's right. It, the, it can be difficult or hard to see the screen. And for number four, Dave said that he had seen the film before. Mm, Dave said, I have, seen, I have seen this before. Okay, I've seen this film before. Very good. And they spent two hours watching the film. Hmm. Hmm. They spent two hours, so meaning it's the film is. OK, 
Okay, I'll show you the answer now. <laughs> the film was watched by them. The film was watched by them for two hours. Could be correct. But we also we can also make it like this. They spent two hours watching the film. The film lasted for two oh, hours. Lasted. Oh, lasted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought it was, the film was happening for two hours. Oh, it was lasted. Oh, shit. Yes, <laughs> because it's two hours. They spent two hours watching the film. So meaning the film ends after two hours. <laughs> okay, so that's it. Now let's go to speaking. The last part, this is very easy. Look at this picture. Refer, describe, and speculate. Okay, when you refer, look at what you can see in the background, in the left side, um, in the foreground, in the middle, and the left. Describe, what can you see? What are the things that you can see? How the people are using them? And speculate, we speculate when we don't know something like, for example, it could be a kitchen or um, in the balcony or something. So now look at the picture, describe it in the way how you can say about it. What, what can you say about this picture? Mm, okay. I'm looking at the... I'm looking at a picture with um, a man playing chess with like a, a, a boy eating something, I think that's a donut or some kind of oh, yeah. kind it's a pineapple. Round, round <laughs> okay, there's an apple. Um, pineapple. <laughs> The table, uh, the table has the the table. The table has a pattern of uh, blue and white and uh, gray. Uh, like what is it called? Um, like cube. I don't know. Wait, wait. What does it? Mm. Yeah, I don't rem remember how to call that shape. Oh no. <laughs> and there's <laughs> and there's a vase with uh two glasses. Oh uh, and um hmm. and there's three candles and there's so uh, two windows and beside that two windows is a, a door mm. and uh, on the windows there are some flowers a tree I think in the corner there's a wall I think it belongs to the old man mm. And um, yeah. there's also some some block patterns on the floor, and there's four chairs with uh, a fake wall. I think that's just stickers sticking on the wall. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else? Mm. Uh, the man is half bold <laughs> and wearing yeah. a black shirt and um, the kid is uh, wearing a blue shirt with both of his hands holding the piece of apple and the man is playing one of the chess pieces. Okay, actually, it's not an apple. It's pineapple. <laughs> oh, pineapple. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Great job. So, yeah, right. <laughs> um, but if you said it's what's the name of the pattern pattern again? <laughs> you forgot what's the sh what shape is that? <laughs> wait, wait, let let me remember. I I try to remember. Um. Uh, wait, wait, what is it? Wait, let me remember. Okay. Try. Mm. Well, I forgot about it. <laughs> Okay, I think it will be easier if you if you just said it's um it's a white with a blue and gray stripe on it, <laughs> right? Oh, stripe. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Great job. So here, oh, that is the end. <laughs> okay. So that is the end of our demo class for today. So I think this pet material is easy for you or what, what can you say about it is it very easy it's okay or what i will not say that it's difficult hmm, <laughs> i expect it to be easy but it's not easy as expected oh no, it's okay <laughs> it's um yeah i thought i i would do all right but um Hmm. I'm very disappointed myself. But you you only got a few mistakes though. Uh, still your your listening skills are it's quite good. Actually, the reading uh, part of the reading and writing test. Um, there are a lot of passage that you're going to read, and then yeah, it will really test your um reading comprehension. So, uh, if you're yeah. going to use this uh, material. So good luck and I hope I can see you studying in Pantado <laughs> and I hope to see you next time long. Okay, so that would be all for tonight. Goodbye for now and see you soon. Good night. Bye-bye. Oh. <laughs>